Right, greetings everyone. It is time for kind of a special video. Today I wanted to talk about Final Fantasy Tactics and the collaboration because it's something that gets brought up a almost obnoxious amount of the time. And to be fair, while it is obnoxious how many times it does come up, it is a fair point. Where is Final Fantasy Tactics? Tactics is kind of the foundation of this game. You know, that's where they drew a lot of stuff from. So why, 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 why is it so long between Final Fantasy Tactic collaboration? Well, I mean, we could go into the fact that probably 7 just makes more, heck, 8, 10, 9 collaborations all probably make more money than Tactics did. I don't have any data to back that up, given, you know, different times and inflation and circumstance and whatnot. But the uh, point being is that they do want to do other Final Fantasies and other popular Final Fantasies. Not just the tactic show here. But uh, I want to put forward a little bit of a hypothetical with information that has come, that has been being posted for the last little bit and for the last few years. And this is not a confirmation that anything is happening. This is just what I've essentially heard and putting it together in context of where that tactic, where and when that tactics collaboration is going to show up again for Quota. So let me put on my speculation glasses and let's begin. All right. All started a few years ago when essentially there was the NVIDIA GeForce Apple leak, uh, which basically stated, you know, or what basically happened was there was a breach in NVIDIA and out came this list of all these games that were using their technology and you looked down the list and there were a bunch of old games that people knew already. But then, hey, guess what? There was also some games that people haven't heard of that hadn't been announced yet. And over time, people thought, hey, it's not going to be a thing that's true but for the most part it actually did end up being quite true most of it and that was kind of interesting because square enix was on that list and two games that were on the square enix list were the final fantasy 9 remake which has gone through a bunch of stuff that we could talk about but we're not here to talk about that right now and also there was the final fantasy tactics Remaster. Both of these projects hadn't been announced, but given that Kingdom Hearts 4 was on that list, and Kingdom Hearts 4 was since then announced. Meanwhile, we have credible leakers out there leaking that Final Fantasy 9 has been was being worked on by an outside company, and now it's been brought in-house, and it's actually quite far along. There is also those rumblings about tactics, and has been for quite some time. So yeah, I, I think it's pretty obvious that their Square Enix would not ignore a game that has been very successful and that is has a lot of good faith around it. They've re-released it before on the PSP, they've re-released the PS1 Classic before, so Tactics isn't not on their radar, and I think that a remaster for that game seems like a really easy way to make money. So it does seem completely plausible. And it's on something on a kind of a list that we essentially have a lot of good faith in because that list has been proven quite right many times and credible leakers even talk about it a little bit but you know there's been so much of potentially easy and this wondering about where this why isn't square enix shown it well square enix just doesn't show projects that often anymore you know, years out from when they are supposedly ready, maybe because they're just trying to manage things, maybe because they're just trying to keep people focused on what they have coming up, whatever. But uh, also recently, two interesting things happened. First off, Yoshi P, who is the producer of Final Fantasy XIV and Final Fantasy XVI, he has come out and said that it's about time for another Final Fantasy Tactics. An interesting statement is Yoshi P is usually pretty good about uh, 
you know, not just like flitting around with that kind of stuff. He usually does stuff with a purpose. He likes to tease things to the community, and he has a lot of good faith going with the community that I doubt he would want to damage. He cares a lot about his and Square Enix's reputation fans. So, I mean, just look at all the work that is put in the 14 trying to do that. But there's also something else. Uh, yesterday, there's apparently another story that CB or Creative Business Unit 3, one of the best named development studios out there, has uh, two new games they have not shown off and not announced yet and that are coming up very quickly. I find it interesting uh, because, yeah, that it definitely seems like that there's probably something brewing with all the stuff, all the leaks and everything kind of pointing in that direction. Just a question of when it's going to get announced and when it's going to come out. Square Enix's release calendar for the winter and fall doesn't look very good yet. So wouldn't it be nice if there was something to note to bolster those financial recordings? And here, it's very clear that Tactics has been overlooked for a long time on me. Last year, when they essentially threw out a ton of upgrades for older Final Fantasy characters, Tactics was viciously missing that list. And while it seems like an absolutely no-brainer for that collaboration to come back, any time recently, it hasn't. And yet, we all are waiting for it. They know people are waiting for it. They know people are wanting it. So here's my thought, or here's my actual theory as to what's going on. Final Fantasy Tactic Remaster does exist and is in a quite far along finished state. It is just essentially a remaster with updated graphics and everything. It does take development time to get it ready for the Switch, PS5, Xbox, PC, whatever it's coming out on. It is probably by now, depending on when it was started, getting pretty close to being done and ready to be released. Square Next usually also doesn't start any major media cycle for a game recently until at least about like maybe one year at most but feels like much closer to six months from when we start getting a lot of trailers and a lot of advertising and that vision the mana as well as 16 and rebirth all kind of feel like they've been following that yeah give or take but I would assume that, you know, if they were going to announce it now and it comes out in the fall or winter when Square Enix essentially has a dry spell, not that big of a project, probably, as it's essentially a remaster and very little new content. Although, fingers crossed that uh, Clive is in, Clive and Jill, maybe Torgal too, are all unlockable characters, because if you're going to do a remaster, I don't know, throw some, throw some new content in there. Cloud was in the original. Let's get 16 in a Tactics Remaster. I think that it would be really, really plausible for that essentially Square said, hey, hold off on the Final Fantasy Tactics collaboration and do it a little bit later. Uh, we're not going to say anything too much to Gumi just in case leaks happen, but essentially it was put off. Square Enix made them kind of focus on more other topics because they knew Guess what? This collaboration will hit better when we announce that tactics remaster to the point. Good faith, people will be excited and interested in it and it will be happening. So that seems totally plausible for what could happen. And given that we have a lot of space in the next in the latter half of this year for new collaborations, last year in September we saw what? It was like Final Fantasy IX, right? Or something like that? Eight and nine? I think. Uh, boy, memories kind of fade. But there is more than a possibility that we are going to see a much larger collaboration since the current FF8 one is so small with effectively just older character upgrades as well as Cypher. There's plenty of room and development time and I'm sure they have been cooking, getting those upgrades and hopefully those upgrades are going to be incredibly substantial and I'll leave it with one last positive note. I think that this is great for tactics. Tactics that happened before the power jump would have sucked a lot more. But since tactics is so 
near and dear to this community's heart and nervous system. Why not? Uh, probably going to be good if they get their increases after it because they will be more substantial and just generally better. Hopefully, at least, it all of this will come true. It's just hypothetical right now speculation, but it seems very likely that this is the way everything is going. Now we just need Square Enix to announce it. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.